In the last couple of years, who do you think has been the best person that Eli Drake has aligned himself with? This is BQ when I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? All right, my friends, it is discussion question time. In the last couple of years, Eli Drake has aligned himself with a few different stars. Which one was your favorite? In the beginning, Eli Drake was aligned with Jesse Goddard. I thought the two of them looked really good together. They had a couple tag matches. I really thought this was the perfect pairing and I really feel that they could have blossomed into tag team champions. Now when Eli, when EY had left the company and they had to break up him and Bram, when Bobby Roode left and they had to break up Beer Money and then the Wolves got hurt, they kind of panicked for tag teams and they had to pull Jesse Goddard out of this to reform the bromance. Now I was really disappointed with this because I was a huge fan of the Jesse Goddard's heel modern day Adonis gimmick and I felt like it was finally starting to take shape and pairing him with Eli Drake was perfect and it didn't last very long. After that Eli Drake ended up pairing himself up with Tyrus, which was really funny because there was a segment where he tried to hire Tyrus and Tyrus pretty much threatened to kick his ass. So it's funny that at one point he tries to hire him as the hired gun, completely turns him down, and then several months later just appears with the guy on TV. Really wasn't as entertaining for me when he was with Tyrus. Even though Tyrus had some great mic skills and he was involved with Fact of Life a couple times, I really just didn't think it clicked. I really wasn't a huge fan of this. But it's something they could have taken advantage of a lot better and kept them paired up with Eli Drake for Slammiversary since they had a high profile match. They chose not to do it. Instead, they included the p person he is currently aligned with, and that is Chris Adonis. I'm not a huge Chris Adonis fan. His in-ring skills really aren't that impressive. As impressive of a character as he is, it just doesn't really translate in the ring. I never really cared for the pairing, but now that Eli Drake is the global champion, I kind of like it. I kind of like seeing them, the two of them come out together because I always feel like when a heel is the world champion that he should come out with some kind of sidekick, some kind of valet, some kind of manager. So right now in this role, Chris Adonis fits really, really well. I do have some concerns that he's eventually going to turn on Eli Drake, which may open the door to a babyface run, but I really think they need to keep Eli Drake as a heel because as popular as he is, he does know how to still generate that heel heat, and it's going to be easier for him to have a long title reign as a heel than it would be as a face. So hopefully they can keep the pairing with Adonis strong. Hopefully it can make sense on television. Now, Real quick before you guys start leaving your comments and letting me know what your favorite partner has been for Eli Drake, I still think that he needs a valet, not a mouthpiece. That's not what I'm saying. Oftentimes when a wrestler comes out with a female, we're, we feel like they're supposed to be the mouthpiece. I don't think he needs a mouthpiece. He is the mouthpiece. I really think having a valet like a rebel coming out with him in a dress, riding the gravy train would be perfect. So... There it is, Jesse Goddard, Tyrus, and Chris Adonis have all aligned themselves with Eli Drake in the past couple of years. I want to know what you thought the best pairing was. And then on top of that, should he have a valet instead? Should he have that attractive female in a little dress, not really speaking, just kind of their moral support, maybe helping him win a little bit? but just that female who's riding the gravy train. I want to know what you guys think. Please hit the subscribe button if it's your first time here on the channel. We're always talking global force, and we do it in a really positive manner. Any trolls get deleted. They get blocked. This is all about the GFW fan. Thanks for listening, guys. This is BQ. We'll talk soon.